What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and this is our final solo A Star Wars Story video that we're doing on the channel. We had quite a few of these videos over the last weekend, over the last couple of days, where I want to talk about specific aspects of the movie, kind of talk about the future of Star Wars, my kind of frustration with the franchise and with Solo in general. And this is our last video. In this video, I want to talk about Lando. I want to talk about Donald Glover's portrayal of Lando, and ultimately why I disagree with, I guess, every person that I've seen on social media, at least for from big websites or, or higher up personalities um, on these kind of websites that have just fallen in love uh, either with the movie in general, which I totally disagree with, or everybody saying how Donald Glover is the best part. And this even goes past, you know, people that I've seen websites like GameSpot and IGN and all these websites, but also even YouTubers uh, that I watch for reviews. I watched Jeremy John's review of it in which he said going into it, he expected Lando and Donald Glover to be the best part and leaving the theater, he thought that Donald Glover as Lando was the best part. And I just couldn't disagree more. I think Donald Glover as Lando did terrible terrible and he was easily the worst part of the film. Now that's my personal opinion, but I really don't understand why people think that way. Um, yet again, these are some of the same people that said that they absolutely f uh, fell in love with this movie, that it was better than the last batch of movies we've gotten. I don't know how that can even be possible. Solo is not better than The Force Awakens or Rogue One. As I said, it is better than The Last Jedi, but as a whole film, I'd put Solo just in the same batch as the prequels and with Episode Eight in terms of it's just not good whatsoever. It's not bad, but it's not good. And Lando is part of the reason why it was bad. I actually liked Solo. I actually liked Han. That actor going into this film, I did not think would do a good job at all. I actually fully expected him to be terrible, okay? I expected him to be really, really bad. Now, I'm not a Donald Glover fan. I don't care about the guy. I've never really watched anything he's in, so I was going in just with the fact that he's Lando, okay? I don't have any, you know, built up, oh, I love this guy. I know a lot of people do. I know a lot of people are Donald Glover fans. To be honest, I don't see that either. He seems like a boring personality. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but I just do not have any, I didn't have any preconceived notions heading into the movie about Lando at all. So when I saw the movie, I was expecting that Lando would actually be good because, you know, especially Jeremy Johns, I do understand uh, where he comes from when he does a lot of his reviews. I tend to agree agree with him more often than not in terms of review. So when he said that, I was going in expecting Han to be bad and Lando to be good. It turns out it was flipped. I actually liked Han overall. I thought he did a pretty good job and I believed him. I believed he was Han. Lando, he had the voice a couple times. I believed him. I believed that he sounded like Lando from episode five. But in terms of just his whole personality and just the acting in general, I thought he was a waste of a character almost the entire movie. Uh, the betting scenes weren't that good. Nothing with him uh, piloting the Millennium Falcon was good. I just feel like he was a waste. I just feel like he was there, obviously, because they have to show when he met Han. And I, you had to show that early relationship. But to be honest, there really was nothing there that built that much of a relationship between these two. When you see Lando in Episode 5, if you don't know the history, like if you if you kind of just make it up, which is a lot of what people had to do back in Episodes 4, 5, and 6, you would have thought that there was a substantial amount of history there, right? Because they, they definitely knew each other. It sounds like they had a complicated past. This isn't really the past that I was expecting. It's not the past that I think would lead them to episode five, especially how they end the Lando Han thing with basically Han winning the Millennium Falcon. Okay, I mean, overall, Lando, I think, was just a waste of a character. And acting-wise, I don't think he did good at all. I mean, I thought a lot of his jokes and a lot of his personality just felt extremely flat. I felt like he was bored with the character for a, a lot of time in terms of Donald Glover. But like I said, I feel like he just has a boring-ish personality. Um, and and I, I do believe he carried that into the character. I do not think he was a good actor in this film at all. I think he was easily the worst. I mean, Amelia Clark. A lot of people have a lot of problems with her acting through her entire history of acting. You know, a lot of people say she's one of the worst in Game of Thrones. I've never really watched a ton of Amelia Clark stuff, but I thought Amelia Clark did actually really, really good in this movie. Woody Harrelson, I thought he actually handled himself very good. Woody Harrelson, I think, is a phenomenal actor and needs the actual script in order to do anything. Uh, the last movie I believe I saw with him was War for the Planet of the Apes, in which I thought it was a pretty bad job overall just in the whole film, um, but him especially, but that's just because he wasn't given anything. I honestly feel like he did a really solid job in this film, although, you know, they gave him kind of the, where you 
you could tell a mile away that he was going to betray them, and, and it wasn't like exciting, and he he didn't really give a lot of reasons for you know double crossing and double crossing again. Like it just kind of felt like it was happening, and there's no rhyme or reason why. So his character, I think, was a little bit weak, but acting wise, I thought he did really good. Lando was both. Lando, I felt, didn't have much of a personality at all. I rarely felt that it was actually him. I think it could have been anybody. And in terms of what they gave him to do, the actual stuff, he didn't really do anything. Now, that is kind of his character. And if you think about Lando in general, I don't really know what I was expecting. Lando was in the movies for like 20 minutes. Same thing with Boba Fett. This is what I was talking about a couple days ago with the unnecessary part, talking about Boba Fett, do we really need it? And, you know, when this movie came out, especially like over the weekend, I saw a lot of people on Twitter... I saw IGN do, you know, would you like a Lando standalone movie? What are people on these days that they think that this is a good idea? The solo movie wasn't necessary. We didn't need it. It did nothing for anybody. It sold terribly. And it's going to continue to hurt the future of, of Star Wars. The Boba Fett movie. We've seen this guy on screen for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and then he died. And we're expected to watch an entire, what, two-hour film of him? I don't think it's going to go over well. And now... Lando, who, yes, he he was a charismatic character, and I love it. You know, hey, an old buddy, don't let me down. I mean, that is one of the greatest lines in cinema, okay? But actually, it's pretty, it's just a stupid line. Uh, but, you know, his character was good. I mean, I like him in 5 and 6. When I watch 5 and 6, he's definitely an important part. You know, he's not a main character. He's definitely a side character. He's there, and he, you can watch him, right? He's not, like, the best character in the world, but he's there, and he, especially, I think, in episode 6, adds to the core, and, and he really strengthens up that supporting cast. And I actually like that. He's a stronger-ish character. And yes, he's been in the games. You know, he was in Battlefront 2. So he's around. But at the same time, they didn't do anything with him in Solo. I mean, I, I don't think they gave him really anything. They, he, they didn't interest me in his character. I didn't learn anything from his past. And then people are start, starting to say, do we, do we want a Lando standalone. What is he going to do? Bet cards the entire time? He doesn't really do anything. He he pilots the Millennium Falcon in Episode 6. That's pretty much it, right? He leads the attack on the Death Star. That's really it. Other than that, he's just a con man. So what are you going to watch him do? Make bets? Make sleazy bets? Like, why do people think that these are things we want to see? I don't know. And, I, and those are the kind of people that have led us to where we are with these Star Wars franchises. It's very, very frustrating. But overall, that's where we are with this. And I really don't think they did themselves any favors with how they, they gave Lando anything to do. I don't think it was anything exciting. And in terms of Donald Glover... I just, you know, the whole point of this video is basically a long way of me saying, I've seen a lot of people saying he was the best part of the movie. I truly cannot believe that's even being said. Um, I do not think he was the best character. I think he was by far the least interesting character, and I think he was also the, the worst acted in terms of the entire cast. That's truly my opinion. Um, and so I just don't understand why people can think any differently. So that's my personal opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Was Lando a good character in Solo, and did Donald Glover do a good job? Yes or no, and why? I want to hear why. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Podcast Now. This is it for the Solo content. We're continuing all the other content on the channel. We, we will be back for Episode 9 when it comes out uh, next Christmas and we will for sure be covering it uh, to death and hopefully they can finally turn this franchise around because it is not going the right way. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.